My name is Holly Huber and I live in San Diego, California. Um, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and um, I'm basically trying to relive life now that I've had a stem cell transplant. In November of 2008, I got on a plane and I flew to San Jose, Costa Rica. When I arrived there, it's over a month time frame that the treatment takes place. They extracted my own stem cells from fat tissue. And then over four weeks, I had eight spinal injections of donated adult stem cells into my spine. Leading up to me making the decision to leave the, the United States and to have stem cell treatment, I got to the point of where I had taken every medication available, what they call disease modifying drugs for multiple sclerosis, and in my case, unfortunately, they all stopped working. I couldn't walk, I couldn't feel the bottom of my feet, I couldn't feel my fingertips, I couldn't type anymore because I couldn't feel the keyboard, I couldn't drive because I couldn't feel the pedals of a car, I didn't leave my house because of incontinence issues. I just wasn't living life, I, I was miserable. I couldn't make it through a day. I couldn't imagine getting up the next morning and having this fight all over again. So uh, when I made the decision to go, it, it was it was the right time. I was ready to do something different because I exhausted everything here in the United States. I had ended up using my life savings on my medical costs here in the United States. And I knew that I could take the last money that I had and I could pay off that debt or I could take that last savings account that I had stashed away and I could use it for the treatment. I wasn't functioning and the drugs hadn't helped me so I knew that I didn't have the, the capacity to earn a living anymore um, so I knew that I should take the money I just felt that it was the right thing to do you know if it didn't work then I'd be in debt and it didn't work but if I didn't do it I wouldn't have had the possibility of maybe it helping I actually stayed in San Jose Costa Rica for 30 days during the treatment I was in an apartment hotel with tile floors and uh, I started having some changes when I was there, but I was very apprehensive about saying anything because I wasn't sure was it my mind telling me so badly I wanted to do better that I could all of a sudden feel the tile floors, or was it that I was actually having sensation on my feet that I had lost over, over the four years. By the end of my fourth week, I actually could feel the insides of my socks, the insides of my shoes, and the cold tile floors. I also had stopped being able to swallow correctly. Um, MS takes its toll on so many functions of the body. Um, I had gotten a little bit of a cold while I was down there just from you know traveling and I went to gargle which I couldn't do. I would choke beforehand and I could gargle mouthwash Listerine before I came home and uh, there was no that's not a placebo effect. There's no making me do that. That was because all of a sudden the repair had already started to occur where my brain was telling my my throat and my muscles what to do. It was within about three months that I could ride a bicycle again. I had gotten rid of my bike because balance was so poor, I would fall over. I got a bicycle for that Christmas, and um, by February of that, the next year, I could ride my bicycle around Mission Bay, the 13 miles around Mission Bay. So uh, within a couple months, I was living life again. I had my stem cell treatment done a year and a half ago. I came back and I continued to feel the benefits of it. I am working again, which I hadn't done in four years. I'd put my life on hold. I can drive a car again, so I can go visit my family, which are two hours from here. Um, I've started to think again clearly, so I can uh, work at regaining the lost money that I spent on my treatment here. I basically got a second chance at living life again.